Um, hi, my name is Laura, and um, to give a very brief introduction, I am a recent graduate of Smith College, and what I would like to emphasize is that it is not a girls' school. Um, without men, it's a women's college without boys. <laughs> <laughs> and so, as Dr. Changes in explained, I am John Dinsley's niece, and this is why I was able to come to Bale Fence Center this summer and shadow with Dr. Chang. And I'm incredibly thankful for this experience because he let me help out with Dr. Huang's research on whether to extract or not extract that Beethoven center. And so I would like to share with you the frequency of extraction at Beethoven center. So if you look at the previous um, extraction rates, and usually found in Western practices, you can see that around 1960s, it peaks and slowly afterwards it decreases and towards nowadays, due to modern tools and technology, the extraction rate has been pretty low, around 10 to 15%. However, when you look at the Beethoven or the Dantic Center, it is at 65%, and that is a very high rate compared to what you would find compared to Western practices. So the research was about why is the percent of extraction at Beethoven so high? And one of the top reasons, and so in order to do this, um, Dr. Huang looked at, had an analysis of 200 consecutive patients and looked at the treatment patterns of what went in and what, um, into, the, what went into the extraction pattern. And one of the really important things that we found is that profile matters. According to past research, when they asked orthodontists, dental surgeons, and lay people, they asked which profiles do they prefer, especially comparing the bimaxillary protrusion and the bimaxillary retrusion. And in this case, they found that all three groups preferred the bimaxillary retrusion and were not inclined on the bimaxillary protrusion, meaning that for an Asian population, they prefer to have a straighter profile. And so this is reflected when patients first come into the orthodontic center because one of their chief complaints is about protrusion and they want to reduce it. Over almost half of the patients have at least protrusion or biprotrusion. And this is what the patient thinks. However, to provide an objective measure, um, we looked at the E-line, and 38% of their upper lip protrude to or past the E-line, and 55% to um, of the lower lip protrudes to or past the E-line. And so once again, to reiterate, 65% um, of the patients do undergo an extraction treatment. And what goes into this extraction treatment, um, Dr. Chang has outlined seven of these points. And in the analysis, four of these points are pretty major, especially due to profile, crowding, decay, and patient perception. Profile is pretty important because comparing a case where a patient extracts or does not extract, the Extraction can make a difference at this on the soft tissue profile, especially when you look at this patient. How you can see afterwards, her um, facial profile is aesthetically more pleasing versus the non-extraction, where it where her case still works, but at the same time, extraction would have been preferable. So. 85% of the patient population do undergo extraction to reduce, to reduce protrusion and particularly um, to maintain for the E-line. And another factor that does factor into the soft tissue profile is crowding in the lower, crowding, especially in the lower arches, extraction is more preferable because it is harder to expand the lower arches. However, you also have to consider the patient population that ends up at the Beethoven Center. Because due to the dental health and oral hygiene for Taiwanese patients, 
there are still some compromising factors, such as caries, root canal treatment, fracture, and processes. And so with this patient, it would, having an extraction would be more beneficial for her, as well as um, she can save uh, money on other treatment plans, such as implants. However, one last key note is that patient perception is very important because it is ultimately up to the patient to decide whether to undergo an extraction or not. And as was this patient, she chose not to, even though Dr. Chang highly advised her to do so. And as we can see, after um, choosing to undergo a non-extraction treatment, um, after align aligning the teeth, uh, her her bite is open. However, since she is Dr. Chang's patient, um, he is able to use the ortho bone mini screw to retract the teeth and to kind of improve her facial profile. So the end result is is this, and it and it does help. The ortho bone screw does help with the facial profile, but at the same time, her lips are a little bit. Um, tight, and at this, and it would have been more preferable to have an extraction. So basically, in conclusion, um, looking at the extraction rate at the Beethoven Center, it's pretty high, and due to several of these points, especially concerning profile, crowding, and decay, missing teeth, and not last but not least is the patient perception because it is all ultimately up to the patient to decide whether to extract teeth to, um, to help with their soft tissue profile or to not extract teeth. And so I would like to um, thank Dr. Chang again um, for having me, for giving me this opportunity to help out with the um, research paper because it has um, inspired me to pursue my dental career. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>